Hello, Sagittarius. I'm going to try this again. I have tried this two times, and it did not come out. My audio was not on, so we're going to try it again. I'm going to do a reading today that's um, it's let that shit go spread, all right? This is going to be a release and ease. It's going to be what you need to release to ease you, bring you into a play, place of peace. Now, the last reading I did, it was about a... Um, somebody being really cold and manipulative that you need to let go so take that if that resonates um it said that you would become very very happy if you let that go because that was um that the block that was affecting you is like the five of cups and that's the sad that's the sadness so um let that king of swords that manipulative person in your life go okay so we're going to move on to a different subject see what we can get <clears throat> and i'm gonna pull six cards all right what can sagittarius currently let go of what can sagittarius currently let go of the sun What's the main block that's stopping Sagittarius from letting go? How is the block affecting Sagittarius' life currently? How is the block affecting Sagittarius' life? Oh. What are the steps and ways you can take to let go of it now? What are the lessons this situation was here to teach? What will happen if Sagittarius let this go and release it? Alright, Sagittarius, it looks like um, you are holding back from taking a leap of faith of somehow this Four of Swords is in reverse. This is your block that's affecting your life. You're not healing from something. Uh, what can you do to currently let go of? I mean, what do you need to currently let go of? It's the sun. The sun represents happiness. It represents marriage. Also, with this sun card in this particular deck, the Cosmic Slumber, the sun can also represent an ego-based mind, mind setting. See how she's gripping the sun by herself? And there's like these two kids down here, or two people down here, and she's like, nope, the sun is mine. So you might have your grasp on something that you need, you might need to let go of a grasp. Like you're holding on to something that's not healthy. Could be a marriage because the sun is also about marriage. We're going to pull on these. This is like a, the devil is on the bottom. I mean, this could be obsession, uh, um, addiction, uh, negative, self-sabotaging, mind process or some sort. You see, he's looking this way, and he's look. He's got money right here. He's greedy. He's being greedy. Like there's a woman here. There's people all through here, and he's just like in greed. But he still has tears coming down his. So it's like not satisfying him. Like he can never get satisfied. Okay, let's see. Let's see, what's the sun? <clears throat> and that's where, you know, like addictions and stuff come in. Because you just can't never get satisfied. Okay, let's see the sun. What is the sun? And you could be addicted to anything. People working out a lot. Working. Working a lot. You could be addicted to anything. Three of Pentacles. Holding on to some kind of collaboration. Maybe being obsessed about 
collaboration. Ten of Swords. Something might have ended. And you're still... Yeah, there was a stalemate here. The Emperor and the Two of Swords. The Ten of Swords. The Ten and the Two would be the Eight of Swords. Okay, so let's explain this. <clears throat> there was a marriage or there was something that you were holding on to. Something that once made you happy, right? And there was some kind of collaboration that came in of some sort. Maybe it was a collaboration of an ending. Maybe this maybe this emperor wanted to end this with you and you just kind of keep the blindfold on and you're like ah, no we're good i got this blindfold on you know i'm i'm not seeing nothing staying in a stalemate position either that or somebody else is at a stalemate position but this is something you need to let go of so this is, I mean, this is, it has to be an ending of some sort that you're not getting closure on. This Three of Pentacles could be getting closure for this ending. Oh. And then we have the two of torches on the bottom that's like finding a new path. Yeah. You're now having to find a new path. Ten of Cups is on the bottom. Ten of Cups a lot of times is moving out of a relationship. What's this fool for the main block that's stopping you from letting go? Queen of Swords. Cutting it off. The Hierophant. Yes, cutting this Hierophant off. Saying the truth and taking the leap of faith. King and Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. This is a cold couple. This is a couple that it is a stalemate. That's a power that's a that's a power couple, yeah. But do you really think this authoritative person right here and this authoritative woman really have much love between each other? Because this is pretty um, straightforward to the point by the book kind of stuff here kind of situation yes the Hierophant's here there is a the commitment but you're not taking a leap of forward to get out of this cold situation okay and that king of swords he was in the last reading so don't be foolish and be putting all of your energy into something that's not it's clearly a stalemate what's this four of swords the moon four of swords in reverse that's not getting rest it's not being at peace. When the Four Swords is upright, that's when you're healing and you're going through um, the motions, right? Whenever it's reversed, you're not healing. You're not facing it. You're not going through the motions. You're not dealing with it. It's almost like it's too, um, it's too foggy. It's too, there's too much confusion. Yeah, the temperance. This came out last time. The temperance is like a winding road having to travel down uh, paths new paths winding roads you know just having to have the courage the uh, lions here and this is the courage that you have to have to get down these paths okay the moon is you're confused you're confused down this path you're not healing you're not resting you're not getting sleep one more card for that. You need to block that.
Okay, let's get into the Six of Cups. Steps and ways you can let it go now. Okay. <clears throat> Six of Cups is like reminiscing where you came from and where you're going to go in the future. It's kind of like, you know, I've came a long way. And it looks like you have with the Temperance here in this deck that is a, uh, that's trying to find balance within, you know. So, you're here in the Six of Cups, reminiscing how strong you have been. And we've got the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> you're getting clarity. You want a new beginning somewhere else. You're getting clarity that you have potential. And you're getting an idea on what's next, okay? So, the steps you could take to let it go now... Is to remember who you are. Remember who you are and where you came from and where you want to go. Think about this. Do you want to be in a still King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy? Or do you want to be in a loving King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy? You know? There's a difference between the two. One's on edge and one is loving. So, um, they're asking you to, to tap into your, you know, your, your strength. Yes. And find what you want. What is it that you, what do you think will bring you happiness? What do you wish to have? What's your wishes to be filled? Yes. And I love this. Where was that? Oh, that was in the other reading. Y'all had the five of torches and it was like the uphill battle that you were going through and that was how that was the block that was affecting your life was the constant uphill battle and um here in the steps and ways you could take to let it go just hang back a little bit from this person okay hang back get a new perspective on things Find out what you want. Maybe go on a little short vacation by yourself if that's possible. I know that it's not always possible, but this is a big major life change, okay? Um, I would definitely go for at least a day and sit in nature for a little while in nature or something and just, just hang back from people and just come up with your own plan, your own Find what your wish fulfillment is. Find what your new beginning is. Okay? Because you have success coming, baby. You done climbed that mountain. That mountain has been conquered. And you're sitting in your success. And you're, and you're like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I finally got the clarity. I need it. And I'm ready to battle. This is the lesson. This situation was here to teach you, okay? And that is to have your own clarity, your own individuality. Not to have somebody else authoritative over your life putting you into an emotional state. Putting you into a state where you can't heal anymore. You can't rest. You can't get that moment of clarity. This lesson is to teach you that you can get the clarity you need by yourself or with your friends. Three of Cups is here. Reach out to your friends. Reach out to your family. If this is, you know, a marriage of some sort, because we do have the sun up here, reach out to people. You know, people don't people don't judge you as much as you think you do, they do okay i know don't drag a lot of people into your your business but if you have a sister a cousin a aunt or anybody it doesn't have to be blood just somebody to confide in after you get this clarity you don't need you don't need anybody else but yourself to get this clarity Yes, you have made a decision. It is time. Look at this. Two of cups on the bottom. It's coming together perfectly. It's coming together. You have block. You got your block up, and you're like, I'm just waiting on my 
my wish fulfillment to come in, okay? And this Eight of Swords, finding clarity, you're like, you know what? There's a path that I can go down. And I might have a couple paths that I could go down. I need to choose one. And that's what you're doing. You're going to choose one. Because you have found the will. These, that's the will within you to make a decision. And to end this king and queen of sword dynamic. And come into happiness with yourself. The Ten of Cups is sometimes happiness after a breakup. And that's what I feel like this is. Because this Ten of Cups is bringing in a new beginning. Oh, that's nice. Let's hear about the new beginning. What is this Ace of Torches? This could be you finding yourself having potential new potential something that um a new idea what is this ace of torches the strength yes you are finding the strength you know you're battling your mind and your emotions and your heart and everything, your gut, your intuition, you're balancing it all. The morning, and this one came out last time because this this king of swords had you in the darkness. It was the night. And then at the end, right by the strength too, it was the morning. This is your new beginning. This is your, um, you know, your first cup of coffee, your new ideas like I said before your your new potential that you have found it's all coming it's like a brand new start in the morning one more card for Sagittarius for this what will happen if you let it go you're gonna find strength look at this I'm gonna laugh if this is the queen of no it's not the king of cups <laughs> Didn't I say that we wanted the King of Cups? We didn't want the King of Swords anymore, right? We didn't want the King of Swords. We said no to that. That was negative energy. And I don't know. This might be something you're pretty passionate about. This is the King of Torches. Now, okay. You did get your heart broke back here. If this is the King of Cups for what will happen whenever you release this. If this King of Cups is a person. Say this is a person. You might be a little guarded. A little more guarded than normal because of this King of Swords. Okay. Let's, tie, let's get that wall down. Because... The King of Cups is a very gentle, loving, caring individual. And I don't think this King of Cups is in your heart to cause you heartache. This King of Cups also could be you coming into your emotional balance. Instead of a person, this could be you finally coming into a place where you're emotionally balanced. Where you don't have to worry about this King of Swords situation anymore. Uh, might be some money from the past. <laughs> hmm. That might be somebody from the past. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some advice for Sagittarius from the universe. I wouldn't even worry about this. I would really just set your sails on. Look, there's a new beginning. Surrender. You're attracting everything you need. 
I would focus on getting yourself out of this situation with this King of Swords first. And then it's gonna it's gonna fall together after that. Like I feel like it's gonna be like dominoes. It's just gonna fall right right where they would need to fall. Everything that you're doing is coming into fruition. You're assessing pro the process and the things that you have been through. And you do have gratitude. You're like, you know, I am lucky for this King of Swords. Because this King of Swords might have taught you a lot of things. It might have taught you how to be stronger. It might have taught you how to build your walls. To come to come into a place of, um, of boundaries. To, to have boundaries. Okay? They're asking you now is to balance your energy, balance your emotions. And I feel like that's what you're doing with this King of Cups right here. You're balancing your emotions. And you're you're fiery. You're excited. You have visions. You're excited. You're protected. You see that cat down there? Self-love is very important through this journey right now. Because that's who's going to pick you up. You know, at the end of the day, and I have been in this situation so many times. Sometimes we are all we have. And we need to learn how to find the strength to do that without having to, um, to feel bad about it. It's not feeling guilty because you don't have somebody to, you know, or sorry me. No. Because I got myself and I love myself, right? So, um self-love is important assess all the situation that you need to but you're good i think you're coming out really good and i think you're gonna have all your wish fulfillment after you leave the stagnant energy you can cut it off that's cutting something off there okay all right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for um, clicking on this read. and uh, Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I love the feedback, and I hope you all have a great night. Love and light.